with a fund, do you still need to use special purpose entities? You know, that's a good question for uh, an attorney. They might have a different opinion. I'm, of course, I'm not an attorney, but uh, they might talk about issues related to asset uh, protection, and those are very uh, important considerations. So that's not something that I can comment on specifically. Uh, they might tell you to incorporate in certain states or they might tell you certain other kinds of strategies and then accountants will give you certain other kinds of uh, strategies. But as far as the syndication is concerned and the fund structures, you're going to build your fund and you don't necessarily need to put anything that you put into the fund into a special purpose uh, entity, but you might want to. Let's say, for example, you're building homes and those homes, uh, you put each home into a special purpose entity to protect your assets so that uh, if something goes wrong with that one house, it doesn't affect the rest of the home. You buy an apartment building, you might put that into a special purpose deal. Now, the way you do that is you set up an entity that's owned by the fund. So the investors put the money into the fund, and then the fund starts this new LLC and owns 100% of the stock. So from a reporting point of view for the taxes, for example, the uh, apartment building will flow up to the fund and then the fund will distribute the money to the investors. So all the different deals flow into the fund and then the fund will distribute the money. Now you can imagine if you had many, many of these special purpose uh, entities doing your taxes is going to take a long time. So you got to get your, you know, got to consider that, that there are the more entities you have, the more complexity you have. Somebody on your team is going to have to be dedicated. They'll have to be uh, some in-house bookkeeper, CFO, controller type person that's going to control and manage the way that the, uh, the flow of information happens. And then it's going to probably have to go to an outside CPA to prepare the taxes and all the rest. So you have to really think through these issues because it does get a little bit complicated. The concept of a fund itself is a place to hold the money and then how you uh, do your transactions inside. You can do them uh, just inside the fund or you can set up separate arrangements. You can set up separate banking arrangements uh, really entirely up to you. Uh, that's something that's based on your facts and circumstances. If you have questions specifically, you can call me, you can call your attorney, your accountant. There, uh, there are lots of advisors that can help you with that. But, uh, but definitely you want to make sure that uh, you put your money into the funds, that the money is ready to go when you're ready to go. And syndications, by the way, work the same way. You can have a special purpose entity that hangs off of a, uh, a single project syndication. So uh, probably less common, but you could certainly do that. Anyway, listen, this is just a great business. So go out and stake your claim.